Hi there guys, welcome to Guitar Interactive Magazine. My name's Tom Quayle, and today I've got a real special product for you actually. I'm gonna tell you straight away, I think this thing is fantastic. This is the Acus One uh, for six strings. So really it's called the Acus One Six, which is a little confusing, but the, the full name on the product you can see here is Acus One Four String Six. And this is an acoustic amplifier of very, very high-end pedigree, for a very attractive price. Um, and as you can see, it looks and sounds fantastic. Uh, these guys, Acus, are basically, uh, they're not that well known at the moment because they've been making uh, speakers in Italy, they're an Italian company, for around 15 years now for other manufacturers of, um, well, primarily acoustic amplifiers, but other things as well. And um, what they've decided to do is basically take their expertise and produce their own product. And they've done so at an amazing price point, as I say, and you know, really amazing construction and tone. This thing really is high end. Um, so as you can see, first thing that you're gonna notice about it is twofold really. The, the design is fantastic with this um, wooden housing. This is plywood in this case. You can also get um, a black kind of finish, uh, sort of different kind of look really, but I think this looks great, this classy look. Um, it's got this fantastic looking um, grill here, which is completely solid. This isn't going anywhere. It's really, really well made. Very classy looking logo with the tuning peg here, Acus Sound Engineering. You've got a six inch uh, bass speaker here, which really kicks out some serious bottom end. And then you've got um, a compression tweeter on the top there for the high end stuff. Um, very, very nicely done. It's obviously got a little port here as well. Um, it's got a lot of kind of, um, it kicks out a lot of sound. It's 100 watts. So it's not particularly quiet. So you could do some, you know, a wide range of gigs with this and uh, really kind of kick out a lot of sound. And if required, if you're gonna to go to bigger venues, it's got a direct out as well. So we'll have a look at the top panel. I'll show you what's going on on there. It's actually three channels that you've got on here, three independent channels. Um, the simplest channel is basically the stereo in, which you can think of like a tape in basically. So just on the top here, hopefully you can see this if I move these leads out of the way, you can see we've got a stereo in and a stereo out. So you basically could run your iPod in there, it's an RCF input. Um, this thing, even just for playing music, sounds amazing. We ran a, an iPhone in here earlier on and played some tunes. Just sounds amazing, really, really great sound. Um, so if you're gonna want to run backing tracks or kind of, um, you know, anything that, that you're gonna wanna use maybe for busking or for doing gigs, if you've got some tracks you wanna play through there, it's gonna sound absolutely fantastic. So that channel's basically got its own independent control. So you've got stereo, uh, in and stereo, sorry, stereo in and stereo out. So you can kind of control the level that's going in and out and you can run, we're running a direct out here and the mic in front, we've got an AKG mic stuck in front of this. Um, so yeah, I mean, in terms of kind of usability, this thing really, uh, you know, two channels plus the extra stereo in is a really useful feature. Okay, if we keep going on this top panel here, because obviously we've got three rows of dials, uh, stereo in, stereo out, and we've got this, um, this button here, which is basically for phantom power because you can run a mic in here, so you could run a condenser mic that requires phantom power, as well as kind of ordinary dynamic mics as well. You've got the effect return, because this has got our DSP Hall reverb built in, which you can hear if I just play. Really, really nice quality. If I bring that out slightly, okay? So it's got a nice tail to it. It's not kind of metallic sounding in any way. When you're on the most extreme setting, you can hear there's a little metallic tail to it, but it's still very musical. You probably wouldn't run it that high anyway. Then we've got the master volume, okay? It's very loud, as I say, if you have the gain on each channel and the volume cranked and then the volume on the guitar as well, because obviously you'll usually have a volume control on the guitar. It's really loud, but doesn't break up, doesn't sort of, uh, you know, uh, the, the bass uh, doesn't get muddy or anything as you sort of crank it up. You can see the bass speaker working when you're using it. Just real high quality components. So then we've got two independent channels uh, that have separate inputs. So channel one has got a mic input, um, which will, as I say, take condensers and dynamic mics and a line in, which is what we're using. Then in terms of controls, if I lean over here, because obviously I'm struggling to see the top a little bit, we've got gain. Uh, we've got high, mid and low frequency with plus and minus 15 dBs of attenuation or boosting. Uh, we've got the effect send for the reverb and then we've got the volume control for that particular channel. And as you can see, both controls are mirrored. Obviously this control is just set up at sort of 12 o'clock positions because we're not using it. So you could plug uh, a vocal mic in, a guitar uh, into channel two, for instance, and then have tracks running uh, in channel three. 
just huge amounts of kind of varieties to what you can actually do with this unit. And I say everything you plug into it just seems to sound fantastic. You could probably even run kind of a modeling unit, a guitar sort of, uh, you know, electric guitar modeling unit as a preamp in there and use this almost like a power amp, a really pristine sounding power amp. It's going to sound absolutely fantastic. So any source, this is going to amplify really, really cleanly and very transparently. Um, but as it obviously designed for acoustic guitar, okay. Uh, what I'm going to do is basically, as we're plugged into channel one, I'm just going to let you hear what the EQ controls do and the quality of the sounds that we have here. We're trying to give you a good representation, as I say, because we've got the direct signal and the mic signal coming out the front. Obviously, the proof really is if you're in the room using this unit. And I have to say, it just feels and sounds absolutely amazing, especially for a unit this compact and this light. It doesn't really weigh very much. And this very comfortable, deep, uh, recessed carrying handle here. Uh, this is all solid. Um, metal of some kind, I'm guessing probably aluminium or steel. It just feels really, really well made, really, really well kind of constructed and put together. Nice bit of grain on the wood. So looking at the channel, let's start with the gain controls. It's pretty obvious what this does. I'll leave the controls on the guitar set, you know, just to uh, what they were for the actual playing demo at the beginning. Let's try the gain control. <laughs> Got to be a little bit careful here, obviously I don't want to clip the mic or the uh, direct out, but there's a lot of gain range on there. So if you've got a weak kind of pickup in the guitar or using a mic that requires quite a bit of gain on it, there's a significant amount of gain there. Uh, some condenser mics require quite a bit of gain. So in combination with the phantom power, you can really drive those mics quite hard. Um, so that's really, really useful to have. In terms of the EQ, 15 dBs is going to give us a nice uh, amount of tone shaping possibilities. So again, I'll leave the, the EQ controls on the guitar set to where they were for the playing demo. Let's take, in this case, the, uh, the, high, uh, the highs and we'll... So for a kind of rounder tone, let's boost some mids and some bottom end as well. Okay, so you can really, really kind of tame those high-end uh, frequencies if you want. Then you can boost again. Okay, so as you increase, got a little bit of noise coming in, but we've got the gain quite high. But nothing crazy, doesn't get sort of uh, particularly excessively hissy or anything. Okay, so we'll leave that set at 12 o'clock, the mids. Okay, let's dial those all the way out and then gradually bring them in. So a nice mid-range honk if you so desire. Let's dial that out and play a little bit. Dial those in again, do the same kind of thing. So yeah, I mean, very, very tailorable and all sounds very, very musical. So you can really match the guitar that you're using to the uh, particular room, venue, or the amp. You know, if you're using this amp and the guitar sounds slightly different to the one you're used to, you can really tailor the sound of the guitar. So again, we'll set that to 12 o'clock and then we'll look at the bass. Now again, this kicks out a significant amount of bass for a six inch um, speaker. Really doesn't, you can see the speaker working. Maybe you'll even be able to see it on the camera, I'm not sure, but. So that's the minimum level and we've still got a fair bit of It doesn't sound thin at all or unmusical, it sounds great. And then as we boost, we've obviously attenuated the bass here. I've got the bass set reasonably, well, about uh, two thirds of the way up on the guitar. Okay, now we're really kicking out some frequencies. Then as we boost, we may even produce too much bass. Now 
Now, the amazing thing is, in the room, that doesn't sound muddy at all. Obviously, I'm not sure how that's translating through the microphone and the DI. But in the room, that doesn't sound muddy. It just sounds fat. It's kind of kicking out the bottom end. Um, so, very, very impressive. I probably wouldn't have it that high. But if I play without the palm muting, If I was doing a solo gig, which I would never do actually, but if I was doing a solo gig without a bass player, that would be great to have that low end frequency. And this guitar is actually tuned down a half step anyway, so we've got a little bit more bottom end there. It's very, very useful to have that in there. Again, I've kind of shown you the effect already, but let me just do it the reverse way. So we've got the send on the, sorry, the return on the effect all the way up. Uh, and then if you do it that way, you could have certain, channel two could have more effects than channel one, for instance. So uh, this is kind of set at kind of a, a default value now, and then we can dial in the amount of effect from here. So obviously completely dry. So it's great to have independent control per channel. Just the two input channels, the stereo uh, in doesn't have the uh, effect on there, which might have been quite nice, but it's not really a big feature. Um, so yeah, I mean that's that's really really useful to have that feature, and then it, again independent volume controls for each channel. So you've, it's almost like a mixer basically on here that you've got. Uh, on the back of the unit, now we've kind of looked at the top. Um, oh, by the way, these controls all feel great as well. The actual construction of these controls and the, the way they respond is great. They don't feel sort of too tight or unresponsive at the opposite end of the scale. Very 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 well made. Um, at the back, we've got a ground lift, and I can just show you that in action. I don't know if that's made any difference at all. But uh, trust me, it's uh, removing a little bit of uh, you know, the hum that you get from the 60 hertz or 50 hertz, wherever you are. So that's kind of working quite nicely. There's, uh, again, the construction on the back, which we'll, we'll turn this around and show you, uh, is, is really, really nice as well. And it's, it's, it's just a really compact, fantastic sounding unit. So you, know, you have to congratulate ACUS for you know, the years that they've been building uh, these products for other people. Now they've produced their own, and it really is cutting edge and you know leading on the market I would say I think it's an absolutely fantastic unit so you owe it to yourself if you're after a decent sounding or very good sounding actually uh, you know acoustic amplifier that can be used for other purposes as well the Acus uh, is really a great one to go for so definitely check it out and uh, yeah I hope you've enjoyed this review and I will see you next time